Hello there. My name is Tenen, and welcome to Divine Journey 2. It is a 1.12.2 mod pack with a lot of kitchen sink stuff in it, but it is a progression map. A progression mod pack where you're going to have to use all of the mods in this just to finish the mod pack, which is really good because I usually don't use any of the mods, and it's a good learning experience for me. Uh, right now, we're looking for a good spot for a base. I want to make an underground little square base for the time being, just so I'm safe from creepers and su such of things like that. And when I find a little spot, we can continue. I'm not finding anything good right now. I'm also going to starve to death. But we're going to read our little bag of truth and our welcome in a bit. After we find a little spot in the area, this spot right here is pretty good. We're going to start right here. Our first goal is to make the 5x5 five five block area. Just a lot of space, and then I think I'm going to go four down, so it's not too big. Don't want to be near that water spot right there, but I think right here is a good spot to do it. So all we have to do is carve this out, make a little hole, and then we could begin everything else. So that's what we're going to do. Alrighty, we have our hole. It's, it's an okay hole, really. I want to block it off with, like, grass for the time being. Something like this. I hear a zombie, but why? This area is, like, lit up. Where is the zombie at? Doesn't matter right now. Our goal right now is just to cover this little hole up until we can make glass out of this. Don't know how long that's going to take, but hey. Right now, we don't want anything coming into our little hole. All right, now that we're here, we can start reading our stuff. You are a fallen angel that has one purpose in this world. Find the meaning of life. Fortunately, however, it's already in your inventory, locked up in a convenient bag. So there isn't much to do. Hold on. You seem to need a key to open the bag, a key to infinity. Well, that makes the things a bit comp more complicated. Actually, way more complicated. So much so that you'll have to beat an entire expert mode pack to find out what your bag contains. In Divine Journey 2, you'll need to progress through all of the available mods in order. Since recipes are highly gated, a bunch of recipes are also much more challenging. So you need a large amount of automation to obtain all materials necessary. And you've been given the tools to set up all of your automations to your heart desire. To succeed in this pack, you'll need to have a good understanding of modded Minecraft in general. Or just have at least played some other mod packs that give you a feel on how to auto craft, auto process, automate every aspect of any tech or magic mod, and so on. Don't be discouraged, however, since along the way, you'll be exploring wondrous dimensions added by Divine RPG, Twilight, Aether, Atom 2, Abyssal Craft, the Air Abyss, the Galactic Craft, and much more. There's plenty of fun to be had with those, especially since you'll have access to them quite early on. The main progression of this line consists of the following, early exploration, tech mods, magic mods, late game OP-ness, and so on. Now we open our quest book by pressing K. Now, here we are. Our first quest is the journey begins, which we need to get ourselves some wood. Everything else up here is just talking about what I already knew. Some bug fixes. What is BQ? I forgot what BQ was. JEI and shortcuts. We don't need to worry about any of that. All our first goal is to get some wood. It all starts the same way. Oak wood. Now, lucky for us, we're in a forest. So getting oak wood for us is not a problem. Our, this is literally just how what we got to do is come over here. Break some wood. Oh, I didn't mean to do all of that. But I do need those apples or I'm going to starve. So we're just going to go around and grab all of these. I didn't know I was going to break everything. That was a whole mistake. But let me get these seven apples. So you eating these. While I get out of everything else here. Oh, apples gave me like three heart and three hunger each. That's pretty nice. Oh, we collect all of this. We might use this for, um, I guess, furnace. Cooking? Smelting? Yeah. I don't know where this zombie is, but I am afraid. Because I don't know where he's at, and I don't want him to attack me. So we're just going to ignore everything there. Grab our apples. Come back down here. First things first. We set home. Our home is set. We claim our chunks. We want our chunks to be pretty big. We have 100 loaded chunks, or well, 100 claim chunks we can get, and then 50 loaded chunks. Right now, since we're only in this area, we'll shift, shift click that, and just go like that, so that this whole area is ours. And then at 16 out of 50, we'll use the other 50 for other things, like if we need to go to the nether and claim those chunks, we'll have those ready, or lava, or whatever we need it for. 
And anything else? I don't know yet, but here. Here we go. So let's open up. Let's claim our three apples. Thank you very much. We need to do this. So pick before crafting. That's right. The crafting table ain't so easy to create. You first need to make a wooden pickaxe, head, and tool rod, then combine them. So, early stages, we need to create our weapons or our items. So, as you said, wooden pickaxe, we need a wooden pickaxe head and an auto rod. So, we don't need oak, we need a uh, oak for that. Oh, what is this? The divine pickaxe. It's got two heads. Oh, what the heck? You didn't pickaxe. These are from, what are these from? Divine RPG. I see. Well, let's grab that. I already know how to make some of these tools. I need two sticks for this to make the shaft. Like so. Bam. Like that, and like that. And here is our iron pickaxe. We need to do the same for the axe. So right there, right there. Bam. All right, perfect. We got those done. We can claim that. We could also claim the hatchet. Or, well, maybe not, because that's not something we have. But we need to mine it up, which is cobblestone. And we need to get some coal. And lucky for us, we already have an area where we can start mining. This can be our mine down here. I don't know if there's anything down here. I need to conserve some space in my inventory, though. So I need to make some sticks real quick. And then these sticks can turn in half of these can turn into shafts. And then I need to make it myself a spade a shovel. So let's go like that. Can't make a shovel. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, how do I make a crafting table then? Is there a way to make a crafting table right now? Absolutely not. Never mind. All right, so it's our first day at night. So all we have to do here is like this. And only small animals can come through, which I don't think there's many. I don't see any zombies coming through here. So we're just going to leave that be. We're just going to start mining while the day goes by. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I got some mining stuff done. We have a lot of items. No, we got some blue cobblestone apparently. I had a site, some diorite, and some granite. And apparently, I got some arbor team steeds. I don't know if I got them from upstairs or not. And I still got a sunflower in here. So, our next goals let's see here. Open up the quest book. We need to mine it up. We got that. We're good to go. We need to make a stone head pickaxe. And then from there, we can start making our crafting table. So, that's the same ideal or same idea of making that. There we go. I don't know if it wants me to make the full pickaxe, but we can claim that. And then our crafting table right here is made out of stone pickaxe and stone axe and then a crafting base. So we can start doing that. We need to make our stone. Uh, I forgot what it was. Here we go. Stone axe. Now we need to make a crafting base, which is this, which is a eucalyptus and planks. So we have both of those. Well, we're going to have both of those. There we go. So we need to make two of these. Let's go like that. Let's go like that. Oh, I think it's reverse. We reverse it. There we go. Bam. From there, we grab this, and then we grab this. Bam, bam. What? Oh. Okay, that's just me being dumb. All right. Grab that. Grab this. All right, there's a stone axe. Grab this, and then we grab that. And there's our pickaxe. Now we can go back here, click this, and bam. There is our crafting table. Thank you very much. We'll be taking dark oak saplings. From there we can make our smelting capabilities but we need to get iron we need to make a raw hammer and then we need to make a coal and then we need to do photosynthesis we need a yellow dye for some reason is that yellow dye is that what it wants oh wait i didn't make yellow mean open the map okay yeah sure okay harvest some yellow flowers and turn them to yellow dye what do i need this for power of the sun what the heck okay so something to smelt with we need coal. we need uh coal yeah we need what else do we need here Rough hammer. Uh, what is this? What is this for? Craft a rough hammer. This tool is used to create rough iron mesh out of iron ore. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, let's start making these, though. I can't make a chest just yet. Uh, because chests require some, a nugget, an iron nugget. I don't have that. We're unfortunate out here. So, all we have to do is just hold all this inventory. Well, we can delete some stuff. I don't know if this makes 
pet. No, this is kind of useless. Why is Anasai in this game, bro? What does Anasai even do? Anasai can make me a stone knife. Interesting. That's all it can do. Just make a stone knife. And I guess it can make good pavement, I guess. We can keep it, I guess, for now. Does diorite do the same thing? Yeah, these are kind of useless. Oh my god. Can I just make it into like... Yeah, okay. We'll use this for a decoration, I guess. Alright, there we go. Bam. 38. Bam. Like so. And then keep doing it. Until we have no more. Like so. And then... Does that not make my inventory any smaller? Uh, we could just start building this out. So if I do decide to vein mine out like that, I can have like a little area where it's not going to get messed up because I have polished andesite, which is really good. And I want to just keep be safe, honestly. Because if we're not safe, who is going to be safe for us? This blue schist, or whatever it's called, is not beneficial for us right now. And I want my floor to be blue. Even though it does give off a good lighting. We might use this for later on. Or something else. It's, it's a good decoration block, I think. Right now, let's just add this. So that if I do vein mine, we won't have any issues with this later on. And it busting out my whole wall and stuff. And I gotta do that with the stairs as well. So that I can be safe. I can't make stairs right now, unfortunately. We don't have a crap. Oh, wait, 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 actually. I'm a liar. We can make tools. Tools of mass destruction. So we can make a shovel now. We don't need a shovel at the moment. We have some marble, apparently. And now we can start making tools normally, I think. This can make an iron ILT, but it's not really worth it. Because it's just the durability of a stone pickaxe. Which, I don't want to make that. That's kind of lame. But yes, we can start making tools normally now instead of having the uh, shafts. The shafts are important, though, because then we can make makeshift tools on the go. And that's really what we want. So, we can't make a chest. So we do need something to put our items in. I don't know what though, because all of these probably require an ironing it. Yep. This one requires an iron label. But this is a frame chest. That's not really real. Or I'm assuming it's not real. Can't really make much. Slightly larger chest. Interesting. Oh, cool. There's actually utilities in this. But there isn't anything else. Damn, that sucks. We're kind of... Yeah, okay, we're kind of like on the low. You need to just keep, organize everything just to make sure it's safe. Let's see, shelf. That's not, that's bewitchment though. Drawer, maybe? Drawers? No, I still need a chest for that. And as it goes for the same for crate. I think we have crates in this one too. Yeah, we do have crates. But this needs a diamond chest for that. So we're not even going to make that anytime soon. We're kind of stuck with just the inventory. That sucks, baby. All right, anyways. Let's keep these on us. We need wood. What do I need to make right now? Not much. Oh, it's daytime. There's not much we have to do outside anyways. Until we get anything like chest related, like, um, if we can start making a chest, then that's when we go outside. But for right now, we're kind of just isolated in this area. I can't make stairs. Is this, is this for real right now? Is there any other way to make stuff, or is this just no chest at all? Oh, I can't make stairs. Oh, God. Can I make stairs out of this? Of course I can. Yeah, blue stairs. Why not? Oh, I guess we're just using blue stairs. Oh, my God. There we go. Blue stairs. And then we got to replace all of this with this. Just so that we don't mess up. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to take me long. It's going to take me a while. Jesus Christ.
Okay. Our mine is useless. I found absolutely nothing in there except copper and quartz. I don't know if it's because of the biome I'm in, but there's a sand area cave over there that I got some stuff in. Which is good because we're going to need this for going to make a rough hammer to make uh to create an iron mesh out of iron ore. Apparently we need that, but we got high ironic. We'll get copper, I guess. With that one. Oh, let's see here. Mesh it up. But let's make the rough hammer first. So we're going to need petrified. No, it's just cobblestone. So we need a stick and a co cobblestone. So that's pretty much. Oh, wait, we need the crafting table for this. We have too much stuff in our inventory. God damn it. Let's go like that. And then like this. There you go. Thank you. What is that? Don't know. It's a piece of sand, I think. So let's get this. Very medley. From there. Let's get this. It gives me a bow. Thank you very much. Mesh it up. Grab two blocks of iron ore together. With your rough hammer to create some rough iron mesh. And then from there, what, what, what do I do with this? And tell me. We'll figure it out though. So. Let us. Let's just make this whole area polished before you do anything else. Because honestly, this dirt aesthetic is cringe. This looks better. That's not andesite. That's a lie block. Look at this. Great whack. No. You're not getting ahead of me like that. Also, what the heck? Why is it so bright? I mean, why is it so dark? Oh, so I don't have torches in here. Speaking of which, let's actually put some torches down. I need to get my cobble to my coal over here. Uh, No, go away, please. I just need a few of these. And then we'll just dump that for right now. We have no space, bro. This is a little tiny dungeon to keep us safe. All right, there we go. Now we have light, thank God. And then this will eventually turn into a little patio. We'll close that up for now because we don't need to go outside. We need to make a door so that I think comes from that area and tries to attack us. Let's we'll go like that. I guess not. Door. That doesn't look right. Now that's fine, I guess. I wanted to put something there, but it's whatever. We could put our chest there. No, no, not a chest. The crafting table there later on. But let's start our thing. Let's delete a lot of this cobblestone. We don't need that much. We don't need the stairs either. We'll keep like two, three stacks. Keep our stuff clean. All right, so right now, we need to get our two iron ore and our rough hammer. So this is what it wants me to do here. And that makes iron mesh. Also broke my hammer. Thank you. I appreciate it. What does this do? This makes very metallic. Very metallic. I can't get to that though. What do I need done? Because I have everything here. Oh, we need to go get what? I need to make a chest. Chests are lame. What do you mean? Framing Mr. Drawers. Powering the sun. Combine some coal with yellow dye to create an essence that was just surprisingly reactive. So you want me to get this and some coal. Burning essence. I don't know what this does. I'm afraid. All right, burning essence. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to throw it. It's going to blow up. All right, now we can do very metallic. So smelt your rough iron mesh using the burning essence you've created. Just drop the burning essence in and the rough iron mesh in a puddle of water and then via, voila, you got yourself an iron nugget. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes. So we need to go dump this somewhere. It's nighttime right now, so we're not going to do that just yet. Right now, what we need to do is make another rough hammer so that I can continue doing this thing right here. Let's go like this. Like that. Make it like that. And then from there, we can start dropping these like this. Just to have them. And then everything else can go back. Well, hopefully it can go back. And I need this quartz right now. Oh, my God. Game, stop. What the hell? Thank you. Thank you, game. All right, like that. And then hammer. Iron ore. Like so. Bam. Okay, and then another hammer. Iron ore. Bam. 
Now that we don't have any more iron ore, we can go like this. Delete. From there, we can start. I don't know what gall is. What is this for? I don't need this right now. So that can just go in the trash. Don't need these tool rods anymore. No seeds for right now. We can go outside to get that. Uh, Don't need these hammers. But I can go in the trash. Soup. We'll keep the soup because we might run out of things. We have berry medley. We need the coal. We don't need the dirt right now or this the oak wood right now, but we'll keep a stack on us. Um, don't need all of these, don't need this. Okay, perfect. That gives them some space to get ourselves some gravel, some sand, some other stuff that I want you to get. From there, we're good to go. We can also delete this. Don't want that yet either way. Alright, cool. But still nighttime. We have to wait till morning, unfortunately. So our first goal is I don't need to go down here at the moment. But yeah, this is our little cave that we have going on. I do need to put some torches down here, though, so I don't get mob spawning in here. So we're just going to go around the corner. As you can see, there's a lot of copper here, but that's pretty much it. I thought I was going to find some cobblestone, but I was wrong entirely. That's fine, though. As long as we keep this safe and nothing spawns and kills us, we'll be fine. Not there. Oh god, okay, we can just put this down here. We can just go all the way back up. Nothing should spawn there. Alrighty. This is the check the daytime. There we go, so we can check like that. We also need to get some sand. So that we can start making our... Our, uh... Our, our fuck, what is this? A smelting table. A smelting table? No, the smelter. What's wrong with me? We need that. We can start making this, which is stone torches. To get the hot pumpkin pie that's pretty much just this to make a stone rod and then this oh wrong way wrong area there we go and then that should give us i need to make 10 what there's no reason for me to make 10 but now we have 12 unfortunately i'll get that hot pumpkin pie thank you very much all right next is very metallic i'll i'll skip forward until it's daytime so we don't have to keep waiting for this because I need to read the other things as well. So that's what I'm going to do right there and I'll be right back. So for right now, this is what we're working with. This is what we're working with. It's daytime, baby. It's daytime. All right. Our goal now is to go out and get some water. Also, I've, I decided to read all those things. So that's why it's popping up right now. Right now, we need to get our burning essence and our iron ingots and a pool of water. I've seen on TV. Let's go. So we just dump it in, right? Like so. Oh, there it is. Iron gets nice. Oh. Oh, interesting. All I need to do is grab some white flowers. I mean, yellow flowers. And then from there, we can be very cool. Also, I need to remember where our spot is. So we need to go like this. Press B. It's not B. It's a J. Waypoints. New waypoint. We'll just call this home. And then there we go. Oh, where's the overlay? There it is. Oh, perfect. Now I know where we're going. So there it is. Home. Up sub. We need to grab all of these dandelions. Because we need to cook some more iron. Because we can make our first chest. And our first chest is our best chest. Our number one chest. And then from there, we can get bone meal later on. And then start our journey. Oh, look. It's a big one. That was a canola seed. I was not a dandelion. I was scammed. <laughs> oh, I had to sneeze there. Oh my god. Alright. That's all we really need. Go like that. Go like that. How do I make essence again? I totally forgot. I think it's coal. I need coal. Coal? Yes. And then this? Yes. Burning essence. Perfect. That's nine for the five that we have. There's some lava right there that we don't need. Here's a smaller pool that's closer to the house. So from here, we can go one, two. To make our iron ingots. Thank you very much. That's nine. Perfect. Now, we're going somewhere. Because now we can make a chest. A chest best friend. Here we go. Bam. Iron ingots. Perfect. And then that makes nine chests. No? What? What do I need for a chest? Oh, I see. It's not just planks. We need the wood for our support, I guess. And like that. There we go. 
Eight, nine chests. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. All right, very metallic. We'll grab that to get the two coal. And then from here, we can go into Tinker's Construct. Uh, we get a diamond for anything else here. Copper is for copper tools and Tinker's Construct, it looks like. Redstone. And then we need to make ourselves the smelter, obviously. Uh, we need Chesterlina, apparently. And then we need to take Collect Clay. Hmm. Let's put down the chest first. That should open and that should open here. Okay. So now that we can organize stuff, we're more in business. Because now I have inventory space. Thank God. They're going to put our little bag of truth in there. Uh, do I need these? No, because the sand is really close. And we're just going to get some iron ingots here. Like so. We're going to make ourselves some iron tools. We'll bring this here just in case I run out of uh, things that we need. And we'll just bring ourselves some copper. Oh, that's not copper. Uh, some cobblestone and this. Just to have ourselves some makeshift tools if we need them. So we're going to make ourselves a shovel. And just a normal pickaxe. This is going to be our basis for our tools today. And then when we find more iron, we can use that later on. Oh, it's nighttime. But it's fine. Because we're not going too far. We just need the glass. So sand collector, gravel collector, and clay collector. We're next to a pond here already, so we can find clay pretty easily. And if I remember correctly, if I'm near clay, I'm going to also be near diamonds as well. I forgot how that, that system method works. So we're just not going to worry about it. Honestly, we're just going to go for what we need. And we're going to leave as soon as we can. So this is clay. Hopefully it's not salt. Oh my god, it was salt. Why? Why must you be like the exact same color in dark? All right, I don't see any more fucking clay here. Oh my god. Oh, perfect. I like falling into pits. Oh, look, a zombie. It's our first mob we've seen. All right, let's see here. I gotta look inside here. All I'm saying is salt right now. I don't know how much of clay do we need, though. How much do we need? 40 clay. Why? What's the reason for 40 clay? I'll never know. All right, let's see here. Oh. Uh, I don't see anything here, god damn it. This is annoying, because I can't find anything. Let's just get the sand that we need. After I find this clay, because I'm determined. I'm like at a river. River should have clay. I think that's it. Hopefully that's it. Is this clay? I'm about to find out. That's clay. Okay, thank god. Yay! Okay, we got 64. There's our clay collector. Nice. Now we need sand collector. We won't be using our shovel for this. There we go. Sand collector. Thank you very much. Now I just need gravel. Uh, don't know if we can just make gravel on our own or if we have to, like, go find it ourselves. But we are in a sandy biome, so there should be gravel around. I just need to go find it. What is that thing? Oh, God. Desert? Desert crawler. We're just gonna ignore you. I don't have the tools to fight you. You aren't fast either, so, you know. Our course kills the hell out of there. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a village here. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, wait. This is not a village. It has nothing here. It's just a small area right here. There is a witch, though. Which is strange. Hmm, interesting. Or I'm not finding any gravel. It's bad times. Although, I might have to dig a little bit down, but that's soon too late for that. Oh my god. Nothing that I'm seeing. There's a little cave system right here. Doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, thanks. Uh, what's over here? Oh, some coal. We do love me some coal. Alright, a different biome completely. I'm just here to look for some gravel. Show me where it's at, baby. I'm looking for it. Maybe it's in here, here. 
We don't really know. Oh, I oh, thank you very much. Oh, there's something following me. Stop following me, please. I don't appreciate it. No, that's not gra that's not coal. This is coal right here. I think I see gravel. Hey, gravel. Thank you. I will be taking all of that. Is that not enough? That was enough. All right, grout. Oh, that's a stinker's construct. Oh, God. And that's what I wanted me to do. It's oil sand. Okay, I can't keep breaking that. I keep thinking this coal. No, it's not. This is a scam. Why is the coal up here? I'll take it, though. Thank you. This is oil sand? It is. Oh, my God. Where is the coal at? Alright, let's get this iron ore. Thank you. Get this another iron ore. Thank you. What is here for the ore? Uh, iron? Okay, thanks. Alright, there's something here that I want. Because I don't have space for it either way. Oh, we do need copper, actually. So we're just going to grab this copper while I'm here as well. I just remembered that we need copper. Jesus Christ. I was going to just skip all over it. I can start expanding in our other mine. That might take a while, though. Anything here? Nope. All right, now we can actually leave. Da, 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 da. Some copper right here. Thank you. We'll leave with our pickaxe bricks. This is dark ore. Uh, good mental note. I guess I could put this here. What is my keybind for making my for making waypoints? I don't know. Uh, dark ore. That's for later. This nope. That's oil sand. This oil sand too. Oh god. There's some copper. Hello, copper. Nope. I was about to hit that. There's some more dark ore. Is that oil sand? Yes, it is. But here's a pile of iron and copper right here. Thank you very much. I'll be grabbing that. Do, 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 do. Don't need tin at the moment. Actually, let's grab this tin. You never know if you might need it. There's some more iron, even though it's so dark down here. I don't know why mobs aren't spawning. It's very strange to me. And I think this is the last hit on our pickaxe. No? This is the last hit. There we go. Now we can go home. We got some salt that I don't need at the moment. But everything else we do need, so that's pretty good. So we're going to go home. And we're just going to put it away. So this chest it will be... Actually, all blocks can just go here, honestly. Those are just blocks, and I'm going to figure out what it is later on. But that's going to be it for this episode, honestly. <laughs> okay. That's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next episode should be tomorrow, hopefully. If my editing schedule is good and I don't have anything to do tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I, I don't know how to stop recording. Oh, God. <laughs>